like sort of like trying it all out. But as the years like went on, I sort of like just got more intricate and doing mm. more and more things, and then set up his business four years ago. Wow. And then just really weird how it takes off. Well, yeah, oh. well can you can you show yeah. us how, how to do yeah. it? I'm useless about yeah, this, I'm not by the way. The best, so well, if you've got if you've got your stencil, yeah. the best thing to do is to cut it out and make sure that. It fits to your pumpkin. Right. Um, I was tacked this on with on my pins, cut oh, yeah, round that's it. That's a good idea. <coughs> and it stays on. Mm -hmm. And obviously just make sure when you're cutting on a lid off. And is that a, is that a sort of special tool you're you're using there? It's uh, just like um a kiddies tool from oh, supermarket okay. when you get like most supermarkets. It's really okay. good because it's like a serrated blade. Yeah. So it's just like really easy to use. And then obviously kids shouldn't do this on no. their own. No, obviously Supervised. not. And you can't cut yourself because like they're really like safe. So. Okay. Um and then when you're scooping, get all get all the guts and all these messy bits out, and mm -hmm. then to like to make sure like your design works really well, you mm -hmm. need to take like all the flesh out, so all right. the goo bits, right. and take away at least an inch. And, and how how do you do? Because that looks really hard. So how would you get all of the flesh out now? Just like with a spoon. Oh, okay. Spoon, hands. I mean, you can even so like it's soft use. enough to pull it yeah. out with a spoon. Use your mum's whisk. You can you use want. your hands if you want to. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. Fine. Okay, cool. Let's get messy. So you take out the filling. Yeah. What's next? And then, then, then what's and next? And then obviously you've scraped away majority of the the wall. Oh yes. So it's like really quite thin where the zan's going to go. Yeah. So you yeah. take literally almost all of it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All of it out, mm -hmm. and then make sure the wall's like an inch thick. Yeah. Where the zan's going to go. Yeah. And then you, you can just use any, any any household item, like something sharp, like a nail, or obviously not unsupervised. Yes. And you just go around and poke holes one centimetre apart on yeah. all the design. Ah. Yeah. Oops. Oh, so on, on the on the pattern no, no, that you right. uh, on the pattern that you're using, you. So like a dot to dot, really. Yeah, dot to dot, and then what you can do is. You can then rub flour into it. Yeah. Right. Ah. ah. And then the flour shows you where you're going to cut. See, these cook. are the skills that I need to know. Gotcha. Yes, Pumpkin Dave. That's brilliant. Really good. It's ideal. And then just start. Okay, so you just literally. Then just start sewing on. That is such a good trick, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, that's it. Just start sewing. So where do you get the stencils from? Um, you can buy them online. You can go onto my website, or you can go onto any other website. There's okay. loads that are out there. You can use whatever oh, and you, you just want. literally just you, print them off the computer. Yeah, or you can just make your own. I mean, if you feel really confident, you can even just draw it straight on. I mean, if you're feeling a bit artistic. Yeah. Well, what's the, the easiest thing to start with? You know, because your designs are incredible, but yeah. what, what would be an easy one to start with, would you say? Obviously, a face would be good. Yeah. And then work your way up to, like, doing, like, a car or a witch, and then start looking at the really intricate patterns. Then look at landscapes. Of, yeah, and like, pictures you know, of London. Pictures of celebrities. <laughs> I can't believe that. Can I take that home? Yeah, of course you can. Yes. <laughs>